Hello students, my name is Sumit Mehta. So today in this lecture, we will discuss about chemical properties of metals and non-metals. So this is the part one of the video. Okay. So I am starting with uh, reaction with oxygen. So here I will test both metals and non-metals and how metals show differently uh, means reacts differently with oxygen and how non-metals react differently with oxygen. So this I will tell you in this video. Okay students, on one side I will take the example of metals and on other side I will take the example on, of non-metals. So that it should be clear to you guys how metal reacts to oxygen and how non-metals react to oxygen. Okay, so let me take the example of copper metal. As you all guys know that when copper material means copper metal reacts with oxygen I hope you guys have all seen that there comes a greenish layer, a greenish deposit or greenish layer deposit on surface of copper. So what is the chemical reaction that occurred is copper plus water, the water content in the oxygen, okay, the CO2 from the oxygen air. Okay, basically this is reaction with air. So this makes a copper hydroxide plus CuCO3, copper carbonate. So this is copper hydroxide. Let me write the name for you. Copper hydroxide. And this is copper carbonate now when you test this metal with litmus paper okay what you will observe that red litmus paper red litmus let me show it with red color students so means red litmus paper turns to blue means the oxide of metals are basic in nature okay now comes to non metal part so what happens in non metals is let's say I am taking the example of sulfur when sulfur mixed with oxygen it makes an oxide in the air is called as sulfur oxide dioxide and when it comes in contact of water which is H2O it makes sulfuric acid so students this sulfuric acid turns now I will take this color blue litmus paper to red one means acidic in nature ok so students here I show you that the oxides of metals are basic in nature ok and but the oxides of known metals are generally acidic in nature so on basis of that use you can differentiate between metals and known metals students okay i hope you guys are pretty clear about what i have told in you in this lecture and if you have still any doubt or any question based on this then please do comment in the comment section students I will be happy to help you guys there and also download the app of Scholars Learning and enjoy learning with us. Thank you students.
in my next lecture i will cover reaction with water okay thank you